politics is downstream from culture. So this was Toronto Sun. Listen to this. Government documents reveal that people on the left use analysis from the CBC, that's their version of NPR, as opposed to something rigorous uh, to, as their primary justification for bringing in the punitive financial aspects of the emergency Emergencies Act. So that's, of course, the freezing of the bank accounts, etc. And we, we played that audio from Christia Freeland a little earlier. Because you don't even have to have a warrant. You can just, they can just freeze all willy-nilly based on nothing, people's bank accounts now. And they're actually, they're using, the reliance is analysts from the CBC, the government propaganda mouthpiece, Canadian Broadcasting Company. It's like our, our NPR, ta it's government-owned, government-ran, taxpayer-funded. So their analysis, it's a 14-page document. They apparently tabled it in their House of Commons Wednesday. And it was detailing the rationale for invoking their Emergencies Act in the first place. Why am I bringing this up? Because I'm telling you what, it happens there first. And if it's successful, expect it to happen here. That's not, uh, that's not speculation. That's an observation of fact. So that's why you need to pay attention to this stuff. So they tabled this thing in House of Commons Wednesday, and it's this 14-page look at what is the rationale for invoking the Emergencies Act in Canada in the first place. So the deputy PM, she's under a, a Castro McBlackface, they said that she was saying that the banks were already complying with the government's orders, and on order of the government, they'll freeze people's accounts. Now, here in the United States, if you want to do that to somebody's account, Kim, what do you got to do? You got to go get a warrant. You got to get a warranty McWarrant. Everything's Mick today. I don't know why. But you got to go get a warrant. Not in Canada. Because, see, the Emergencies Act gives the Prime Minister, Canadian Castro, up there special powers. And the thing is, is that it does not only apply to truckers with rigs. The rules... In this, explain that the bank can freeze anybody's accounts, even if they make the most specious association of the protest, directly or indirectly, is the exact verbatim phrase used in the, in the Emergencies Act, and it was also noted in that 14-page document. Yeah. Directly or indirectly. Now, what does that sound like, Kane, to you? If you? When you hear this, I'm just asking, what do you think that sounds like? Sounds like every damn account. No, 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 no. What, is, what happened here in the United States and people who weren't even there started getting knocks on their doors? Yeah, that, I mean, that's tyrannical stuff. No, it's right January 6th. Well, I guess people so. People who weren't even I mean, there were that's true. getting visits. That's absolutely true. I know more people than I can count on both of my hands that weren't even in D.C. And they got visits. It's egregious government overreach. Exactly. So I'm just saying, they do it there first, and then they bring it, and they do it here. Now, the report, and this is Aaron Woodrick. He's a lawyer, eh? He works with the McDonald Law Institute, and he said, look, if they got evidence to justify this stuff, then you have, I, 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 it is incumbent upon you to make that public ASAP. I mean, that's your, you have to make that public. And he says if they if the Trudeau government has this evidence, like intel reports, credible national security threats, you know, you they have to make it very clear publicly. But clearly they don't, just like they didn't really with with January 6th. They don't have anything. So they just they literally relied on the CBC for their as the source for their analysis. That's what this report says. It's this is where, again, politics is downstream from culture. The media made it true, so the government decided to act like that. And I mean, really, the government wanted the media to make it true. Let's be real about it.